Hello, hello, Amanda in Essex here. Thank you for coming back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I um, do videos on Fly Lady cleaning system. I do cleaning motivations, uh, crafts, DIYs, and just general homemaking and housekeeping. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. I don't like to do really long videos. I don't edit my videos. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I just film on my phone for fun. Uh, put 10 minutes on the timer. Today we are talking about Fly Ladies Super Cruising Through the Holidays mission number two. Um, and it is linen. So that's why I'm filming here in my bedroom. Even though we're in zone one this week, which is your entryway and your hallway, I'm filming in my bedroom because we're talking about linens. So today, set your timer for 15 minutes and dive into your linen cupboard. So making sure that you put it, you're putting away all your linens from Thanksgiving or having them laundered and pressed, whatever you need to do, getting ready for Christmas. Sorry, I'm just gonna turn that lamp off. It's maybe easier for you to see me without it. Um, getting ready for Christmas. Also, if you have guests coming, which I have guests coming this week, and I'm so happy because my two best friends from Germany are coming to England to stay with me for about three nights this week. So they're gonna stay here in this room, which is festively decorated, and I hope that they enjoy staying here. But what I'm gonna do on Thursday morning is, they're coming on Thursday, so I'm gonna pull these sheets off and wash them and put them back on the bed. So they have really nice clean sheets. Everything's spick and span for them. Um, but also that lets me know that on Thursday, the load of laundry that I have to do is actually these sheets rather than putting on another load and creating too much work for myself. My load of laundry for today, today is Tuesday. So that's plan and play day in Fly Lady. My load of laundry for today is already on, but I'm actually gonna do an extra load of laundry tonight, um, a load of towels just to make sure that all the towels in the household are clean and ready before guests get here. And that is the part of my linens that I'm gonna go through with you today is towels. So this is the towel basket that I typically keep in my bathroom, which is just right there. I also have my meal planning to go through with you afterwards, so that'll be fun. Now for each guest, I would like them to have a face cloth, a hand towel, and a bath towel of their own. So I'm just checking through here to see what I might need to pull out for each of them. So that's a bath towel and a hand towel. That's a bath towel. Sorry, that's not a hand towel, that's a face cloth. That's a hand towel. So these are the kind you can like use for your hair because you know it's two women so they'll probably wash their hair while they're here. That's another bath towel but I think it's nicer than this one so I'll give the guests the nicer one and here's another face cloth so there's one complete set of guest linens which is a bath sheet bath towel a sort of hand sized towel or a, a hair towel and a face cloth so that's for one and let's just see if I have enough in this basket for the second, I may not, and it may mean that some of that will come out of the laundry. So there's another face cloth. So I just need a hand towel, and that's fine because I know I have some others in the bathroom which are gonna go through the laundry and then they'll be able to use them. I'm also thinking I might leave them each a little something like a bar of soap. There's like a little, look, I know my, one friend really loves the brand L'Occitane. She's always giving me gifts from L'Occitane. So I have a L'Occitane soap there. And I know I also have um, an Espa soap, which might be nice for my other friend. Or I have a Body Shop soap, which is an English brand. So she may like that one. So I think, yeah, I'll set the bundle of towels. And put this down so you can see a bit better. So yeah, I'll set the, I'm thinking I'll set the bundle of towels and then a little soap for each woman, you know, here on each side of the bed. So when they come in, they've got their, their towels and their soaps all ready for them. So, and this is good that I already have this many clean um, and then I can just do a load tonight and make sure I pull out what they need 
also remembering for Thursday that this duvet and linen set will be my load of laundry for Thursday. So good. I actually feel, <laughs> you know, you get really excited when someone's coming to visit and you sort of, you know, start to worry a little bit <laughs> about making sure that everything goes perfectly, which, you know, perfectionism, we really need to give up with Fly Lady because there's just no point in trying to be perfect. But um, now that I've gone through these towels and even just know that the towels are going to be ready for them, the linens are going to be ready for them, everything's going to be ready, you know, they're coming in about 8 p.m. on Thursday, so they're going to be tired when they get here, maybe. Um, it's about a three-hour flight, and there's a little bit of a time change, so it'll actually be 9 p.m. for them, but 8 p.m. for us because the U.K. is uh, in a different, a one-hour different time zone than Germany. So there's that. So also, just thinking about food, so when they come on Thursday night, because Thursday is actually a really busy day for me. So Thursday during the day, I have my women's group luncheon for Christmas. So my father-in-law is going to come over and babysit the children. And I'm going out for probably quite a long, you know, boozy lunch with my friends. I think there are 18 of us going. Uh, quite a long boozy lunch with my friends. Um... So I may not really feel like cooking an elaborate meal when I get back. Plus, I'll still have to put the linens back on the bed and make sure that all of that is done. So I'm thinking my husband said that he had like a 50% off voucher for Uber Eats. And he suggested that maybe we order a takeaway the night that the women arrive. So maybe having like a curry takeaway that night because in England we eat a lot of curry. Um, it's like the national dish of England because, you know, India and, and England, you know, had this long and slightly fractious. Anyway, I won't get into politics for you, but there's a long relationship between India and England. And so English people eat a lot of curry. It's actually the national, tiki masala is actually the national dish of England. And the second one is fish and chips. So I was thinking we might actually get a takeaway and maybe a curry um, for the night that they arrive. And that would be fun. And then Friday we can have fish and chips because it's classic that you eat that on Friday because of the liturgical religions here like Church of England or Roman Catholicism. So you typically would have a fish on Friday. Um, so that's that. So now I know they're going to have clean linens. Their bed's going to be ready. Their towels are almost ready. The I know what we're going to have for dinner that night when they arrive. So I don't need to be worried about that. I know... Uh, that I'm going to have my luncheon with my friends and all I'll have to do when I get back is put the sheets back on the bed and not have to do, you know, a lot of folding and putting away with laundry either. So that's good. And then we'll have a curry takeaway. So it's going to be a big food day for me on Thursday. I'm probably going to feel quite heavy, but, um, that's fine. That's fine. It's Christmas. We're celebrating. So the super cruising mission number two from Fly Lady is linens. So have a look at your linens. Have a look at your table linens. Have a look at, make sure you have enough towels for any guests that are coming. Have a look at your sheets. Um, make sure your sheets are cleaned and turned over. Like if you've had people for Thanksgiving and you're going to have people again for Christmas, just go ahead and turn over that spare room and make sure that it's ready for them. Something I did in this room, and I'm not sure how well you can see it, is I... Uh, for the first time ever, put some Christmas linens on the bed. And uh, the one I have here now is Christmas tree print. And then I have this little cushion, which you may have seen in my Madeline haul, which um, is a Christmas cushion. And I've got to tell you, I have really, really enjoyed having my room decorated. There's a wreath up here. I've put some hearts here. This is my husband's side of the bed that I'm sitting on. So I put a little bit of mistletoe hanging from his heart above his lamp. I put a wreath in the middle. There's a stag in there that's green. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I've really, really enjoyed having the bedroom decorated for Christmas. And it's so easy to do because all you do is put on a pair of linens. Um, I got these. Normally I use really high quality linens, uh, 250 plus thread count and then I have them for years. I was looking at a duvet cover 
the other day that I've literally had for 18 years and I'm still using it because it's 400 thread count. It just never wears out. That said, these are certainly not 400 thread count. These are just from Asda, which is the UK equivalent of Walmart. And I think I got them for about 11 pounds. They were doing a special, they had 15% off on lemons. So they were doing a special, but I have just had so much fun having them on. The kids love it. My husband, um, you know, he doesn't think anything bad about it. He's just like, wow, we're really into the festive spirit. So we've enjoyed it. That was the 10 minute timer going off there. Uh, and I'll just bring you a little bit of the last piece about meal planning. So today's Tuesday. It's plan and play day in Fly Lady. So typically we do our meal planning today. So I've got my little sheet here, my shopping list, because I'm about to do my grocery shopping as well online. But I was just going to let you know what we've eaten this week to see if it gives you any inspiration for what you could cook or eat. Um, we have had... On Sunday, we had Cote de Boeuf. My husband found it on sale in the shop, so we ha which is basically a really big sirloin chop. We had that with Dauphinoise potatoes and um, spinach Mornay, which is cream spinach. That was really, really nice. We had some wine. That was a really, really nice meal on Sunday. Um, Monday, last night, we just had sandwiches. Um, you know, we'd had a big meal on Sunday. We'd had a decent, I had a decent lunch with the children. So we just had sandwiches in the evening and that was fine. Uh, tonight we're going to have chicken and rice. So either probably I'll do it, um, in Chinese style with like ter the Japanese style teriyaki, maybe hoisin sauce, etc. I usually do something called ginger chicken, which is like ginger, spring onions, teriyaki sauce, garlic, and chicken. And you can put a veg in it if you want. I know I have some frozen green beans. I may put those into it. Uh, and then I just serve it with rice. I do the rice in my pressure cooker. It comes out really, really nice. Um, so we'll have that tonight. And Wednesday night. I'm not sure yet what we'll have Wednesday night. Probably spag bowl. I have some um, ground beef in the fridge. So probably either spag bowl or chili. Uh, depending on the weather a little bit. And then we've got the takeaway on Thursday and I'm about to do some grocery shopping. So I'll have a think about what we want to eat with my friends at the weekend. They're from Germany. So typically for breakfast, they have like, um, brought style bread, which is like brown bread with cheese, like a Leerdammer and ham. So they have kind of a continental breakfast. That's what they feed me when I go there. Um, so I might get some of that kind of stuff in just so there's stuff for them to eat. Uh, here in England, we typically have, like you would have in America, um, breakfast cereal, or we have porridge a lot at this time of year. It's typically porridge, so I'll get some nice porridge in that I can cook in the pressure cooker as well, make a big batch so everybody can have it. And I will also get in the stuff my kids like, which is like Shreddy's cereal. Um, yeah, and then I'll, yeah, I'll get in a few bits for dinner. We'll probably do, you know, I could get in stuff to do like a typical English roast for them at the weekend. So we could have Yorkshire puddings and stuff like that, that they'll like, or they may want to go out to a pub or something as well. So I won't plan every single meal because I'll allow for times for us to go out. But yeah, really looking forward to my guests coming Glad I've gone through my linens. Do your super cruising mission number two today. Set your timer for 15 minutes and go through your linens. I'll be back again with you tomorrow to talk about the super cruising through the holidays mission number three. And we're going to get there just fine. You don't need to kill yourself like digging out every single decoration you own. Just work with me here. We're working together. Follow, follow me. Follow the fly lady. And we're going to have a great Christmas. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Toodles. Toodle pip.